Well, hey you. I am Jer, and I suck at EVE Online. But I've been doing some research about exploration, specifically alpha exploration. I've been playing around in my Imicus in Losec. And in this video, I want to follow through with some actual gameplay showing you how I jump around in Losec and find some, try, try to find some sites to scan down, try to find some hacking to do. And in the process, I'll just give you my little tips, what I figured out, what I'm trying to apply. You know, I haven't played that much lately, uh, but here's my thought process. Uh, this is a follow-up to my previous video. If you haven't watched it and you like the theory of things, please feel free to go check it out. Um, I wanted to do a couple quick follow-ups, so hopefully it'll be useful even if you didn't see that. If you did see that, here you go, some things I missed. One was um, about the skills. I talked about the skills, but I just wanted to say that um, I forgot to actually say, what are the skills outside of the scanning section? Which absolutely, if you want to be an alpha explorer, just every single thing here is useful. You need to get at least one in all of it to get your job done. And it it's so easy to get the threes uh, because you, you can't even get to the three. The yellow ones are ones you won't be able to get. I already talked about that, but uh, get, get it all. But what are the other ones that are the most important? According to me, I would say that the navigation is the next one. You basically want all of this. There's one that's specifically about um, afterburners. Yeah, the acceleration control. Probably you want to use micro warp drive. So you want to get the uh, uh, high speed maneuvering, which is the micro warp drive one. So that's the one you're going to want to focus on. But basically all of this, navigation, warp drive, you want to be going as fast as possible. You want to be turning as fast as possible, like we talked about in the previous one. You want your align time to be good so that you can jump away from danger because you're not going to be able to tank it and you're not going to be able to fight back. So navigation, to me, that's a top priority. Um, the other ones that are pretty useful would be some of the shield ones. Some of these only apply to upgrades. So make sure like shield upgrades, we're not going to be using fits that uh, have any shield upgrades or tank, most likely. So if you are, then of course train the applicable one, but a lot of them really just affect your fitting and stuff, and our fitting is really wide open here, so we don't need to worry about it, but the ones that just flat out make your base shield stronger, and the same applies to armor, the ones that flat out make your hull and uh, hull upgrades and mechanics that just make you tougher by default, are like why not skills because we're very low on EHB. We are hoping they don't even touch us, but if they do start hitting us, it doesn't hurt, right? So if you're really just making an alpha completely focused on that, then go ahead. And like I talked about in the last one, this character, uh, Earthling Chair, is all trained up and has everything that he could want. Um, and that's because he's already got all those skills and you don't need any gunnery and you don't need any, or rigging is the other one. Potentially you want to get the astronautics rigging and the jury rigging. And, uh, I think that's about it because we're not really putting any other rigs other than ones to make us go faster. And there's no skill as far as I can tell for exploration rigging. All right. So that was one. Um, the second one was about the, the different frigates. I never talked about the different uh, frigates. So quickly, I'm using the Imicus because I like it. I showed a funny meme. Go check the other video for why I like the Imicus, just because it's a sweet, beautiful boy and it deserves all our love. But uh, I also talked about the Heron, which is also quite popular. So uh, what I did was I put all of these in empty fittings. And the thing is, I'll just show them quickly. So Amar has the Magnate. Take a screenshot, pause the video, look at the numbers if you want. Kaldari has the Heron. Minmatar has the probe, and okay, uh, who and then of course the Amicus, right? Um, the thing is, they're all the same. Look at these numbers; they're almost all the same. They've got tiny differences in HP. They've got tiny differences in speed. The Amicus can have like one more drone, but if you're an Alpha, you don't need drones. So that's another thing. Alphas don't need drones because you're not gonna fight back, and you can't use the ECM drones, which are the one thing that theoretically you can use the ECM drones to like get someone to unlock you if they have you locked, but God, it's hard to use and it's hard to use in any situation. Um, and as an alpha, you can't use ECM drones. So all you can put in there is combat drones and they're not useful. So don't even worry about drones. Uh, and none of the other things really matter. In all cases, you can get it where you want. What does matter is the slot layout. So the Heron is popular because it goes five and two. And those five are really useful on fits like this because of all of the, and if I go to my actual uh, Imicus fits, um, we're just desperate for things because we're trapped. Three of them are taken up with our analyzers and then people like the cargo scanners and these arrays are really useful. So exploration loves, and so that's why Heron is considered the strongest. 
but ultimately you can make it work with almost any layout. I'm a little skeptical about the Amar because they have slaves and that's terrible and we hate them and we would never use their ships anyway. Uh, but also only three on the side here is pretty vicious. That means we can't have any array. All we can have are, is our analyzers and our micro warp drive. So this one is really unpopular. Um, uh, whereas the probe actually has the same layout. If we look probe, right, 4-3 and Imicus, 4-3. So the, uh, oh, 4, four. oh no, that's right. The probe is worse because it has one less slot. Yeah, I just, to me, it's a no brainer. Why not have eight? <laughs> and you can either have, and that's why I like the, the Imicus, I guess. Because wait, the Heron has five and two. Yeah, so that's only seven. So to me, the Imicus, oh no, sorry. I was looking at the Imicus Navy issue. That's what, Imicus, 4-3, probe four three okay so these ones are extremely similar the differences are tiny differences in their speeds but once you get them fitted up it's, it's not even going to make a difference so that's why i didn't talk about it they're all the same they're shockingly similar and they all have the same um bonuses so they're all going to give you a bonus to the combat scanner probe strength so you can't use anything but one of these because you absolutely want that 7.5 percent bonus to core and combat scanner probe strength otherwise you are it's which is 30 uh not 35 but anyway times four that's what you're going to be getting and then the roll bonus is plus five to relic and data analyzer right that's going to help you with the hacking mini game so you absolutely need both of these you're not going to want to use any ship that doesn't have these bonuses um and so then you just pick the one you want um other than the the magnet i guess because it really this is just a vicious the three here it's so much worse uh than just using an imicus which gives you the four down below or no uh, then using, anyway, I don't think the magnate's any good because uh, Amar are evil uh, <laughs> and the, the other ones are all legal. So anyway, use the ship you want, fit it up like you want. The ship, the fitting advice from the previous video is always good. Uh, I wanted to talk about the Astero a little bit. I mentioned it, but it's just so expensive. 117 versus, look at this, Imicus, uh, it's not even a million. So the Astero just, you can, you can bling out one of the other ones with the Sisters Probe Launcher like I talked about. You can fill yourself with expensive implants and you still won't reach this price um so that's why i don't recommend it what it's good for is combat because it let it has the fitting and everything uh to actually let you get into fights um because it has bonus to drone hit points you can see uh and it has the bonus to armor resistances so it's actually gonna let you do stuff the cloaking devices is the thing that's an enormous bonus to cloaking devices that you can't use because you can't use cloaks and that's why it's not worth it because it's too much money to haul around without a cloak on um, but it, what's nice is you still get that bonus to combat at core and combat scanner probes and you actually get the 37.5 which is the times five so it's better if you're an alpha theoretically you can get even more because you can't train to five and this one it's not related to any skill it's just a 37.5 and then look at that 10 plus bonus to relic and data analyzer um that means it's instead of five it's 10 and it doesn't matter what skill you have so it's double the effect this is a giant bonus um it's not quite as good as fitting both of the rigs that you can get to affect your virus coherence but um I oh, know that's the virus strength. So yeah, there's no real way to, to get that otherwise. That's really useful. But once again, oh my God, you could lose your Imicus like five times and it would be the same price. So that's why I don't recommend it. And if anything, if what it is for is if you want to fight. If you want to do the sites where you scan and then you go to the site, but you have some rats to kill before uh, getting the cans, this is a ship that's good for that. Um, and the price sort of like, it's like, okay, you better make a lot of money on those sites. Uh, to make it work it's also good if you want a pvp if you get in this ship it's famous for being able to hunt down all the other frigates and kill them because they're helpless uh but it's going to be a lot harder to hunt without that uh cloaking device that is part of the design of this so the interesting thing is you can use it unlike the tier two versions of the heron and the imicus and stuff which you can't use because we're alphas we can't use the t2s but we can use this because it's a faction one um, the other one and what i'll say is the other one to consider is the Imicus Navy issue, which these just came out. These are versions of the uh, four Empire ships that don't require anything Omega about them. They're just really expensive and they're ludicrously expensive right now. This is more expensive than the Acero, but it'll go down. It's because it's brand new. Once they get pumped out, they're gonna go way down in price. They're gonna be way more expensive than the uh, the, the, the T1 ones, like the Imicus, but the Imicus Navy issue, and there's a version for each of them, I just 
put the amicus near the issue to show you um should be i think people are saying it should be about 20 to 30 million 40 million somewhere in there way more reasonable than the Astero, which has been around for years and is still at that price um so there you go so the, the amicus navy issue the the way these ones work is they're not really any better you could see the uh bonuses the same 7.5 to this the uh, scanner strength uh the same plus five to relic and data analyzer but look at that 7.5 to small hybrid turret and 10 percent to drone hit points this is a machine of violence these what they do is they keep all the benefits of scanning and hacking but they also are pretty good uh, at fighting, like as good as the normal non-scanning frigate. So if you want to fight other people or you want to fight things in uh, like rats and you want to try to do those sites, this will be the way to go long term. When the price comes down as an alpha, like they're available to us and they completely replace the need for the Astero. The Astero is still good. It's way better uh, because it's got all those bonuses that don't rely on skills and stuff. But I still say I'd rather lose three Imicus Navy issue once the price comes down versus one Astero. Uh, so anyway, so those are some thoughts on that. The the Navy issue, the the the, the, the Empire faction uh, level two scanners are going to really defeat this unless you have a lot of money. Uh, and the other thing to notice is just like they've got more slots, so it's eight instead of seven, and so they're pretty cool. They're going to be pretty cool. But if you don't need to fight, you don't need them. Like that's the thing. If you're just scanning and you don't plan on fighting anything, there's no benefit to this because it'll be exactly as good as the um, normal Imicus at scanning. Like it doesn't have any more rig control. It has one more low slot on the Imicus, so that could be useful for something. For but mostly it's for making yourself tougher. Uh, if you don't want to make yourself tougher and add armor and damage control and things, it's almost the same. So, okay, that's great. Um, the other two things I wanted to talk about. So my whole thing was uh, bringing down your speed. You know, okay, I'll put this offline, right? Getting your speed under three seconds so we can align quickly and we'll see how that goes. Uh, I just forgot to mention, it's really good because it makes you go faster. You're going to go a lot faster jumping from system to system, jumping, uh, aligning out from site to site, moving from can to can. Everything you do will be faster by having a fast align time. And that's like a side effect of trying to make ourselves safer through align time. So just why else? Because it's fun and it's nice and it helps balance out the fact that our scanning will be relatively slow because we can't get acquisition bonuses. Um, and finally, I talked. I had talked about people insta-locking you. Like if they have a ship designed to lock super fast, then your three second Align time will mean that they can still get you. And I implied that that was the only risk in low sec, but there's a such thing as smart bombs. You, they don't have to lock you to use smart bombs. I've, I haven't encountered them in the game, but I know that they are common, especially in low sec when people are doing low sec uh, gate camps, they'll often have smart bombs so that if they see you have a weak paper thin tank ship like this, they're gonna blow you up. And there's just no way to avoid it. Uh, <laughs> once you're there with them, you are dead. They're going to destroy your ship, and then they're probably going to destroy your pod right away too. Haven't seen it happen, but I believe the experts who tell me that that is a real thing. It's one of the reasons why maybe you don't want to obsess too much about getting that super slow uh, lock time because, uh, or, or uh, align time because it doesn't matter. What you need to do is avoid them. Um, and so let's talk about how we're going to go out. Let's go out. Let's actually go outside <laughs> and not just stay in all day. But uh, what I want to do is uh, come over here. All right, so I'm going to close down this other tab. And oh, I forgot to turn on my music. This has some, some tunes going. I got some free thing. Uh, Aviators Infinity Awaits Us royalty free music uh, to help with my terrible microphone quality. Sorry about that. All right, so we talked about this last time. If you haven't seen my video on this, go check it out. Uh, this is eveye.com. It's just a way to replace the default map and make it a lot easier to use. So here we are in Kaharo. I talked in the other video again about why I'm in low sec, why I am in the uh, ass end of nowhere in low sec Minmatar space, very far away from Renz, the nearest uh, major system. And we are in the system and you can see here, the yellow number represents how many people have jumped through in the last 24 hours. And these are really no low numbers. If we go up to Renz, we'll see that it's in the 8,000, 10,000, or no, uh, yeah, 8,000, yeah, 10,000 and Odatric. Jeez, a lot of people up there. And we're over here where uh, we got 90 and 35. Uh, these are great systems. People won't have found the uh, signatures here. People won't find us here because they're just not here. No one is dying. Kills is blue. And so there's some people dying in Arena and Mati. 
but no one's really messing around here. And these are also kind of good systems because they don't have the best clone soldiers. There's really not a lot of reasons for people to be here with us. But let's pretend we are going somewhere dangerous. Let's pretend we're crossing, especially between high sec and low sec, and we're really afraid of gate camps, right? That's what's going to kill us the most is gate camps because we're not going to have, their, they might be able to lock us. We're under three seconds, but that doesn't stop anything if there's a dedicated gate camp. But gate camps tend to happen in specific systems, specifically bottleneck systems, you know, like these two kills. Maybe that's because that's the only way to get from here to here. Whereas, I don't know why people are dying up in Sosa and Eshwil, whatever. Uh, let's say, I'm going to go, I want to bring us to Manag. I've had good luck in Manag. Um, and so I set my destination, which is going to set it in the game. But we don't want to take our chances that the fact that there's been no kills proves that there's nothing dangerous, especially because uh, this system, just like Dotlan on evi.com, it's not always up to date. So there could have been kills that just happened. Um, and we can go and we can also go open kill board from here and open it up and I'll make this really big. And we could see that October 7th was the last person killed. God, what a safe system. Um, so that's probably going to be okay. But the other thing we can do is check in Eve Gate Check. This beautiful, ugly website is very useful. So I'm going to say we're starting in Kehurara. And the way here is you just set your points. So K-E-H, Kehurara, and Derelict. And we are going to uh, Mahnag. So I'll start typing M-A-H, Mahnag, Derelict. Okay. And then after that, let's say we're going to go to uh, Timmy or let's go to Sari. So that, and that should, I think, sorry, derelict, okay. And then we're gonna say prefer shortest, avoid systems, none, okay, check. Okay, and so this tells us we are safe, right? So let's, uh, just for the sake of it, we'll type, uh, or we'll say Jita, and we'll do Tama. Okay, and because I just know that this is a dangerous place. Oh wait, no, we're gonna remove this, we're gonna remove this. Okay, just to show you how this works. Okay, and we can see that Jita is not safe. There's been a kill in, at which gate, and Tama is not safe. And so this uh, total kills 13, right? So um, in one hour, wow, it's so violent. All the gankers are really excited because they've changed the rules. Um, but yeah, so there you go. If we were going somewhere, like especially, let's say I was going to go haul my stuff back to high sec to sell it, um, I would definitely want to check. The more value I have in my uh, cargo, the more I'm interested in checking it. But to me, this is the answer to being safe, is checking these things, keeping an eye on all this, knowing where you're going, imagining when it might get dangerous, like if we were going from Dews to Chanela, um, but also just staying away from those places, getting into the back end of nowhere where there's no one really hanging out, and doing your scanning there. Okay, so that, to me, this is essential part of the gameplay if what you want to do is survive, and especially if what you want to do is have a sweet ship. Oh, look, we have some, some actual people in here. Okay, because it was really empty before, so now we can have a little bit of excitement. Um, and you know what I'll do, actually? We'll do the other thing that we're like to do, which is copy, uh, select, so select someone in local, copy them, and then we go to Z Killboard. Oh my God, if you don't know about Z Killboard, you gotta check it out, zkillboard.com. It has all the information about who people are. So you paste their name, wait for it to load up, and then hit enter, and we can see what people kill. And here we see that this person is green, right? If they're red, that means they're dying. So if you see someone and they have exploration or mining ships and it's all red, it means they are getting killed, not killing. This person is definitely out here in low sec trying to get killed. So here they were in uh, minus one, so they were in uh, uh, killing pandemic horde in null sec, but here they are, they are killing miners. So, oh, but look, they don't mind getting a exploration ship when the need arises. So this is someone definitely to watch out for. They will try and kill us. Uh, let's see, what are they usually using? Today, they got a kill. Oh, wait, no, I need to kill, not to click on the retriever, but click on this. And we can see that they are flying around in a sweet ass, uh, doo -doo. oh my God, why do I forget how to see it? But um, can I click on this? No, it's a Loki anyway. So they fly a Loki. Oh, yeah, we only get the victim, not the not the killer. I'm gonna say dunked. Um, great. So yeah, that's a person to watch out for. If we're in the system with that person, we want to just leave. <laughs> so that's an example of just leaving versus. Uh, so we'll undock here. 
versus if, if we uh, found ourselves in a system with someone who is all red and they're a miner or an explorer or a ratter, um, we can just kind of relax, you know? We can, we, we're careful. We never know who might suddenly become violent. But uh, here, I'm going to go to low. I'm going to warp to location. So I'm just going to stay in this Kehrara system for now, and we'll jump around later if we want to, uh, but just talk about how I go about it. I've got a safe here, and uh, a safe, and, and maybe we'll go to a new system I haven't been to and actually build a safe, but basically, right, you, you're in your system, and what you want to do is get as far as possible away from everyone so that they can't scan you down, because we want to be scanning in a place where people can't find us without combat probes, right? Uh, the the probes that we use uh, are scanner probes, right? And we can see them on when we go on D scan. And if you don't know how to use D scan, you gotta learn to use D scan. And I'm not I'm not even an expert on it, so I'm not gonna try and explain it. Uh, but there's Simone again, so we're gonna start being careful. Um, I'm gonna close this for a second uh, while I talk. But um, basically, if we see if we are at a site, like if we are at one of our sites or we are at a place that shows up in the uh, overview, like a planet or a moon or a belt, then we are in a grave danger because th without using any probes, they can find us just using the D scan and using the system where you uh, point at things. So I can point at the gate. If I point my ship at the gate and then I turn my uh, angle, I can say, okay, is there anyone at that gate? And we can, can we see it? Oh my God, my, my probes are really making it hard to see. So I'm not good at D-scan, I'm gonna confess. I'm not good at D-scan, but here we see, we reduce our angle, if we set our angle, normally we're D-scanning the whole space um, and we're keeping our eyes out to say, okay, do we see any ships? Do we see the ship of Simone Mabata? And uh, right now we don't. If I reduce my angle, then I can see, are they in a specific spot? So now we see, okay, that that gate is there and we can switch to the Dysa gate and scan again um, and say, okay, there's no one there. If we saw, but so the thing is, Simone can do the same thing to us, right? And so what, but the thing is Simone, if Simone doesn't know where we are because we're in a weird random place, then we're a lot safer. Although, you know, we're kind of in between these two things, but um, it would be hard to warp to us without putting out Pro, uh, combat scanners. With combat scanners, you can eventually find someone and uh, warp to them. And that's what we can't do with our scanner probes. But if we know where someone is, we can scan uh, with the D-scan alone and look for them. And so if someone is scanning for us without the combat probes, we are always wondering if they'll find us. So we, of course, go to a safe. This is common and stay safe. Here's what's important to alphas. If for alpha players in particular, is that we cannot cloak. It's denied to us through our skills uh, because we can't get cloak and scale. We can't apply a cloaking device, even a prototype one. And the default suggestion for explorers, and I'm gonna keep scanning because we never know. Oh look, more scanner probes. So is Simone, what's, what's Simone doing? Because it's gotta be Simone's scanner probes. Um, you know what? I'm done. I'm going out of here. <laughs> I don't want to, I'll keep talking somewhere else because that is enough. Uh, because you know what Simone is doing? You know what Simone is doing? Simone is saying, hey, Earthling Jair, Simone has probably looked me up in Z Killboard and seen that I am an explorer. This character only ever explores and always dies in exploration ships. So Simone is saying, you know what Jair is doing? Jair has their scanner probes out. And Jair is looking for that signature and Jair is going to go into the signature and start hacking. Um, so what if you're, if you're Simone and you want to kill Jared, what do you do? You look for that site and you try to find it before I do. Um, and I'm actually just going to keep jumping because why not? After all, why not? Why shouldn't I be even safer? Oh, that was fun. That was, that, 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 that was an interesting example. And I haven't actually had that happen before, but what Simone wants to do is find me at the site and appear on site and kill me. Um, and so what I want to do is make sure that if I'm in, in, a, in a system, no one is about to find me. So if I see I'm alone, I'm safe. If I see there's someone there, I try and figure out what they're doing there. Because one thing they could be doing is using their cloak to sit at the site where I can't see them on D-scan because they're cloaked. Um, and then as soon as I start hacking the cans, they are going to uncloak and uh, try and kill me. Okay, yeah, my interference from my cloaking, so I will just move a little bit and then 
launch this and I will actually also, of course, warp to my safe. Okay, so they could be at the site, but they can't be at my safe. They don't know where, if I'm not at anything that's on the scanner, right? So it's, I wanna be somewhere where you can't find me on the overview and I don't wanna be by default at any of these cosmic signatures, right? Whether it's anomalies, right? And there's some anomalies we can get to or the uh, cosmic signatures, right? Um, I wanna be somewhere else. And so what you do is make a safe and the way a safe works and here's, here's my, where's my safe is I am, wait, I'm in the middle of the ball. Yeah, I'm here. Um, my safe in this case is, I'll move this out of the way and I will set my distance to super small so that it, you, we can see it. Um, right, I'm out in the middle of nowhere and the way I create that is I go to one place like a planet and then I warp in between them and I set my safe uh, on the way. So let's make another one here. So I'm actually gonna warp here, or wait, first I'm gonna set, I'm gonna click Control B which brings up the new location. So what the new location might be for you, it all depends, but I'm gonna call it uh, safer, uh, safe spot, something like that. So I'm gonna make it clear. And I'm not gonna submit, because this is gonna save when I get there. So I will go here, I'm gonna warp, and I'm gonna watch myself move on the map, and I'm gonna submit when I think it's a really nice, safe location. And this is a whole art form, and I am not at all an expert in it. See, and you can see me moving. So I'm not gonna go at that, final spot, I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. There we go. So that if they look for me, they're not gonna see me. And ideally what you want is to be really out in the middle of nowhere. That's what, well, that's what makes it super strong. And let's see if we can actually, because the anomalies are often a good source. What you want is one of these anomalies that happens to be like super weirdly located, nowhere near anything and really far away, because that'll be the best, most safest place. And right now I'm alone, I am safe. I could just sit here, but if someone arrives, oh wait, I should go back to my safe here. So then, and then, so that puts the pin and then you go to the pin. Cause see, there's actually enemies here that are gonna try and kill me. Um, mm, disable light background, cause I don't want it to be see-through. Disable light background. Um, right, okay. So as an alpha, you, you really have no choice but to use your safes. Cause if you are a Omega and you have cloaking trained, you just sit there anywhere in space, you turn on your cloak, you turn invisible, they can't scan you. As long as you're scanning for this period where you're doing the doop doop, right? You're doing the analyze and everything. Um, you are vulnerable, but you're invulnerable more or less if you are cloaked. And the, the way it works is in that case, basically, uh, here, I'm gonna get a screenshot while I'm talking. Um, basically, The only danger is when you uncloak to go to the site, but the, that danger is inevitable. When you land at the site, you are vulnerable. But until you do, you're invulnerable, but that's not true of alphas. So as alphas, we have a responsibility to ourselves and to our safety to set up safes, to get in a system while you are safe, or if you know there's people around and you're being really careful and you're, you're watching your D-scan, you, you jump around between and you try and get that safe spot that's gonna get you outside the range of people's D-scan, ideally, right? Ideally. You're just like way outside. And, and what you wanna do is go to different sites at different times and look and see. Sometimes there's one in the middle of nowhere and it's perfect because they won't even be able to see you, right? Like maximum range on the D-scan is this green ball. So if you are more than that green ball away from all the different gates, it's gonna be really hard for them to even see you at all, let alone warp to you. And to, to warp to you, they'll have to use combat probes and you'll see the combat probes out here in the D-scan. And wait, where's my, uh, oh yeah, uh, no. Did I launch them yet? Why aren't my probes showing on the D scan? That's interesting. Or wait, no, I have to put my probes in close to me. Uh, that's why, okay, they're not up there. And if I scan, so, right, you only see what's actually close to you. What is this showing? PVX exploring, okay. Anyway, I'm not sure why, but I'm not gonna obsess about that because I'm not an expert enough to actually be perfect at everything. But we're gonna go to our safe pa uh, spot before we start actually scanning down signatures. That's the most important thing let's actually get started and do some work here. So I'm gonna warm it up by uh, bringing my ball and putting it near here and lining it up more or less with one of these. We'll do this one, analyze. Okay, and I can press V, I set it up to be V. I have my D scan on space, so I can always D scan really easily because I like to remember it and make it as easy as possible. And then I put analyze on V, uh, which is by default, D scan is V and B is your, uh, this scanner, your cosmic, your, your, your probe scanner, um, 
personally, I think, there you go. So I reprioritize them. Um, okay, so we're scanning, right? I'm, I'm not going to try and explain the whole game. I'll give some tips of what I think is important. One, never drag it around like this. That's for masochists who want carpal tunnel. What you do is you double click and it'll be top and you double click and beside. We don't want this to be a 3D game, right? We don't want it to be a 3D. We want it to be like Doom. There's two. There's the top and the side. And then you only ever have to move it twice because once you move it in those two, it counts for all of them. Okay, and then we can zoom in and try and get it a little better. But we don't want to obsess about this because ultimately there's a such thing as deviation. And the deviation is going to mean that even if you're right on the, the point isn't where the point is. The point is a guess at where the point is. And so we just need to get a general because it's going to move almost definitely as long as we have it within all of ours. There we go. So it moved. So getting too obsessed with it. Okay. And one, another thing we want to do, and this is a weird example, but we want to click on the dot after we rescan. That way, when we move around, it's always in the center and we're always moving our box into the center rather than moving around and it gets lost and everything. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, get it nice and clean. Boom. And then I'm going to bring it down. We want to usually bring it down by two. Sometimes you have to bring it down by one if the deviation was unlucky or something. Um, but yeah, we're scanning down a signature. Look at this. We're exploring. We're real explorers now, Ma. Look at us. Okay. Um, and we're keeping an eye on local. Always keeping an eye on local. One thing that is recommended is to uh, take local and select all, you know, select all. Or if it's just yourself, select yourself. Just because it makes it a little easier to notice when someone comes in. Because there's no way to set an alarm. It would be cheating to find a way to set a, like an audio. I would love an audio alarm that just tells you, hey, someone just joined you. Um, and you can turn it on and off depending on your system. There's no way to do that. You have to visually notice that they are there. But at least in low sec, unlike wormholes, uh, we get it. So we know when someone comes in and we can start being careful. I'm not using Dscan right now because I'm alone. But if there was anyone else in the system, even if they seem safe, I would be descanning on a regular basis to see are they anywhere near me? Oh, a gas site. Oh, that's not helpful. Okay, well, you know, maybe we want to bookmark a gas site. You know, depending, you might have a, as an alpha, that's a, your best possible mining opportunity is a gas site. So if you were near a system where you had a nice gas huffing venture ready, you could bookmark that. You could tell your friends to come and get it. Very good isk per hour. Very boring, weird gameplay thing that you do when you actually do it, just sitting there for a long time, uh, ready to die. But what I'm going to do is right click and say ignore result because I'm not interested in gas sites. Uh, so I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to set my thing back to eight and I'm going to go and put it near this other signature, which is the big weird loopy one, which I'm not sure. I, I don't always remember what all of these mean, but this means it's vague. This means you better get that whole circle in all of your scanners, uh, in all of your probes to make it work. <sighs> we'll do a D scan just for fun. Look, and, 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 and right now I am so far away. I'm here. I'm so far away from all these, uh, oh no, I'm here. I'm the little, the little target icon um, that most of my probes aren't even in my thing, which is great. That means I'm far away from almost everyone. I'm far away from all the gates, I think. So if I look at the different, just to just, we're going to take a second here. Oh yeah, there's only one gate. It's here. So uh, it, the gate is within my probes, but it's not within my D scan. And my D scan is at maximum length. So that means someone who comes in won't even be able to, see me they're really gonna have to ha they're gonna think maybe i'm although there's nowhere for me to go they're gonna know i'm in space because there's no system in this system there's no station in this system okay so where do where were we we were here we're gonna click on the dot we're gonna zoom in we're gonna bring ourselves closer we're gonna double click and make sure we're close here too right the worst thing is when on one angle you you zoom in so much that it's gone and you're like where am i so you zoom back out i'm using my scroll wheel here to, to zoom in and out there might be another way i think there's a way to Bring our, yeah, okay, if I hold Alt, I can bring in my uh, actual probes, right? So if I zoom out, we can see my probes going in and out. And I need to remember to do that because I go over and click here and I got carpal tunnel kind of type problems and it's not worth it. Okay, so we're here. We are close in both dimensions. Uh, and I now, now, so we're going to go to two. We'll try two. I forget where I was before. Uh, but we'll try two on this one and see what happens. Ideally, you want to jump down by two each time. It's so much faster, right? You're going to go twice as fast at the scanning part if you can um, keep it going, jumping down by two each time. All right, so now, now we are in the kind of boring part of the game where I'm actually just scanning. But let's see if we can get, if we can find a site here, that'll be nice. We'll zoom in, make sure, oh, look at that. We're really lined up here. Okay, there we go. 
And I will hold Alt and scroll twice. Oh, other direction. Great. And I'll go to, uh, why not? Let's, let's see what happens if we go all the way down. Sometimes you really quickly gain it. Sometimes if you go down too far, maybe we'll see the effect where the deviation, right? The accuracy was so off that I can no longer see it actually. Aha, right. So that's interesting. It was too far. So we'll go back to one, analyze and see what happens. Right, so your scan acquisition array would make this process faster. Uh, your sister's probe launcher will remove 0.5 seconds each time. Interesting. Okay, we'll go back to two. What happened? Um, it was way off. So that was a great example. Uh, or maybe I was at four. We'll see. Sometimes it's messy. We don't have perfect skills. This is the kind of thing where if we were... Uh, Omegas, we'd be like, oh, I need to improve my pinpointing and my range finding and my astrometrics. Yeah, yeah. And look at that. Five scan strength, deviation. Oof, wonderful. That's such a good skill. And yet we are already maxed out. The nice thing is we can relax. <laughs> we don't have any like, oh, I need to find like 30 days of train time. It's going to cost me basically, you know, I'm going to spend my entire month of Omega training on it. We don't have to think about that because we're alphas, but on the other hand, we just have to play on hard mode forever. Uh, that's, that's, my new, that's my new slogan. Alphas play on hard mode <laughs> because we can't train the skills. And so everything is a bigger challenge for us. Okay, so I'm going to, hopefully this is better. I'm going to go down by two and see what happens. Right, oh, ooh, if there's someone else in the system, now is the time when you say, oh geez, I haven't descanned in 30 seconds. And we want to be descanning if there's someone else. We want to be descanning as much as possible because if they are uh, cloaked, combat site, oh my God. Wow, we are, we are getting unlucky. Uh, we might not do a hacking this time because I don't know if that's gonna work. So put, click on the dot, get ourselves centered, might as well. Okay, I'm gonna hold Alt and scroll it up nice and to, to eight. And we're gonna analyze. <coughs> so yeah, uh, but but here's the other thing. Okay, yeah, you could sit there descanning like a maniac or you can come out to the S and the Minma star space. Don't steal my spot, find your own system with less than a hundred jumps. No one's coming in here, I have it all to myself. And uh, you know, I, in this system, okay, I'm having terrible luck this time. But uh, previously, I, I found really good sites, like perfectly good relic sites. You know, they're going to roll. The, the fact that the site, I, I haven't read, I, I tried to look it up. Is there a difference of like being a 0.1 system versus being in a 0.4 system? Oh, I forgot to put it down like a silly billy. Um, and I couldn't find any evidence that there's any difference, that there's any difference of how many people are coming through. Whenever you finish a relic or data site, it respawns somewhere in New Eden so that there's always like approximately the same amount of uh, sites and they just respawn randomly and the quality is random as long as like, you know, high sec is worse and null sec is better. Um, but low sec is low sec and they're all the same. So if you can find an empty system, you're gonna spend a lot of time here, right? I spent 45 minutes in this system just scanning down signatures and doing sites without anyone bothering me, I don't know, that's kind of relaxing and what's the value? If you want more danger, go to wormholes where you don't see when people are in local, right? Which is why I don't want to go in. And also I don't like the idea of uh, people being able to use interdiction bubbles uh, on me. So that's why I am staying in low sec. But right, if you're going to be in low sec and there's parts of low sec where there's absolutely no one, well, why not? Why not just be safe and relax? But maybe if you want the thrill of the chase and stuff, Go, go go to those dirty systems and, and and fight for signatures but i don't know i like coming in here where no one is no one has scanned these down there's oh okay i went too far i'm gonna come back and scan it one um yeah yeah right but if we were looking at descan what would we be looking for of course we would be looking for the ship of the person seeing a ship isn't the end of the world especially if it's not a particularly dangerous ship oh interesting what do we do? Uh, I guess we need to just get bigger and look again. Yeah. Um, wow, this is this is hard. This is this is weird. I guess I'm distracted because I'm talking. But yeah, we'd be looking for the ship. And most of all, combat probes because we are in a safe spot. We absolutely, uh, here we go. Uh, what do we do with this one? I think we need to get it so that our probes are all within the two dots. 
Here, let's try. Um, but the small circles, right? All the circles overlap with the two of them. Yeah, combat probes. If we see combat probes, we're out of here. We're going to a system or we're going to a gate. Um, ideally, we might want to, um, like in a system like this with only one gate, actually the biggest danger would be that if someone wants to gate camp us, it's really easy, there's only one way. But uh, we could look at the gate and try and make sure that they are actually at that, that, that they are not at the gate, right? That they're somewhere else, or that at least if we can see them at the gate, that's a really bad sign. Because um, they, I think they can smart bomb you right at the gate as you leave. The smart bomb just goes off at the point of their ship. So if they're sitting on the gate and they see us, I think in the time, the very brief time that you can't lock someone, as far as I know, while they are jumping out. But what you can do is um, smart bomb them. So we want to be careful. Here, see, and I'm doing, I'm being bad by doing it at an angle. So we'll straighten it out. Come here. All right. If this is, hopefully, this is some kind of site, and I can just hack it. Um, <sighs> but yeah, be careful, but be safe. And look at this, how safe we are here. Just, just spending some quality time with the, with the probe scanner and really showing that uh, <laughs> obsessing over uh, scan strength, which if you watch my other video, you'll see how that was my big priority in fitting was getting my scan strength up to, uh, here, well, let's push the button and then we'll come and look. Uh, 89 so it's almost 90 so it's pretty good I, I, pretty good for uh, for an alpha with this nice fit um, which should be helping us although this signature is just stubborn uh, but here all right it's a relic site perfect relic sites of course everyone knows everyone knows that relic sites uh, are worth more they're just worth more I think there's less of them uh, but if once you find one uh, it gives you more money than a data site there tends to be more cans and they tend to have more in them here, let's see. Okay, we're all zoomed in. We're analyzed. Hopefully, we can get it. There are some signatures we can't get, but with 89 core uh, probe strength, eh, not that many. We should be okay to be able to hack this one, especially here in low sec and null sec, right? We'd have a harder time. Oop, I gotta lock. zoom out. Click, can I click? Yeah. Zoom out, bring it in, right? Everything moves around. That's the deviation. And that's where pinpointing array would be our uh, best friend. Because uh, pinpointing helps us get it so that being on there means being on there. Okay, we're going to down to our lowest. Hopefully, I'm not going to embarrass myself by being unable to scan this after obsessively trying to make my probes stronger. Oh, I'm living on the edge, right? This is, this is what this game is all about, is different kinds of gambling. It's all about different kinds of gambling. And right now, the gamble is, will I be able to scan down this relic site, Decayed Sancha? Here, and we're still alone and I'm, I'm double checking I'm alone because now is when I'm about to get greedy and stop paying attention to local because uh, this looks great. Uh, I'm going to go Decayed Sancha. I'm going to go say De Decayed Sancha uh, Exploration. Okay, and then we're going to get wiki.eb university relic and data set list of uh, here relic and data sites. Um, and so we're going to come here and we're going to say, okay, decayed, safe. Okay, so we can see relic sites, is it safe, decayed? And then this means, because it's always going to be Sancha, it's going to be whatever uh, NPC rats you have. Ah, oh, we got it. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, save location. I'm going to set it to three hours so it del deletes, okay. Um, and then that also gives me a way to copy and paste the name, because if you copy and paste it there, it doesn't work. But here, I, when, when you save it, you can get it. Um, and I can see it's safe. It's only in low sec. Um, and not safe would mean that there might be rats inside. And we are not interested in those because they will, because we don't have any combat ability. So the ancient ruin stands silent and still in the cold vacuum of space. A somber reminder of times long since past. A relic analyzer, oh, we've got one of those, uh, module will be vital in uh, gaining a deeper understanding of the numerous artifacts located here and finding something of value among the rubble. Wow, what a way of describing what's going to happen, which is very straightforward and simple. There's going to be a bunch of cans and we're going to play the uh, Minesweeper minigame. We are still alone in local. I'll do a scan just to please Bob. Uh, great, so we are going to start. We're going to turn on our micro warp drive and we're going to approach by click holding Q and clicking on the thing. I'm going to lock it up as soon as I can and I'm going to turn off my micro warp drive right away because 
Otherwise, I just slam around and it doesn't work well. Uh, normally, I might, I, you can orbit to like at 500, at 1000, you, you don't want to orbit at 500, 1000 is better because then you're less likely to bump into things. You just got to stay within uh, 5000 meters to keep it going and we are going to play our favorite game. This is not an exciting part of the game. I kind of wish, oh wow, that is edgy. We have no choice but to start fighting. Interesting. Okay, and we're going to try and climb toward the other edge. I'm not going to try and explain the whole game here because there are lots of places that explain it. And uh, I talked too much in this video already. So we won and we get a nothing. Oh my God. Okay, so we're going to start flying for the next one. We're going to pump our micro warp drive once and then let go. Um, and then when we are within five kilometers... No? Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm not going to fly too much away. Oh, no, wait. We're going in this one. Oh, cute. Okay, and w that's locked. And we are going to play the minigame. <sighs> play along with me, shall you? We're going to try to climb to the other side. We're not going to click on any monsters. We don't have to. Wow, this is convenient. Okay, no, that didn't go, go perfectly. Okay, and what if it's up here? Ah, we hate this one. Okay, we got to kill this one right away because it soups up the others. Three, two, one, two, one, one. Be up here. No. Oh, whoops. I clicked on that by accident. I actually shouldn't have. Um, could you be here? Could you be here? Ooh, I like that. I'm going to do this, actually. What if it's up here? Just in case. One. Could you be up here? No. no. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Okay, let's do this. Oh, no. I've, I've really hurt myself there. I hate, I failed. Okay, you fail some, right? We're alphas. We fail some, even in low sec. That's the game. Uh, two, one. Oh, I like that. That's gonna help me destroy something. Okay, don't want that. Come back here. Four, four, four. We're far away. Ah! No, it's <laughs> imagine, imagine. Okay, so we've got some things over there that could help us. I'm gonna use this on this guy. Yeah, he did takes a lot of damage, so we might as well. Uh, uh, it's probably at the other side. No, I'm going to just double check. It's not up here if I can. One. Uh, uh, no. Okay. Okay, so we got to pick someone to fight. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. Bec oh, oh, my God. We're actually getting there. Oh, good. Good. Do this. Take that. So Oh, hey, don't mind if I do. All right, here we go. Where's the guy? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, but luckily we had all those wrenches. Oh, did the rule of six maybe tell me that it would be this guy? Oh, no, he's got so much now. Oh, failed. There we go. That's the game. We played the game and we lost. Um... All right, we're going on the next one. That was too bad, I hope it wasn't. That's why I don't have the cargo scanner because I don't wanna know. No, thank you. Um, all right, and we will get our, into our little orbit here and start the game. And we wanna be careful not to fly out of the orbit. Oh no, this is really unclear which way it'll even be. All right, like it. Uh, 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 no, okay, let's try this way. No, not that way. Oh, geez. <laughs> Could it be over here? Unlikely. Okay. So we will do this, and I feel like going this way. Okay. One. No. Could it be? No. Okay. Um, this one. Oh, man, I'm really... Did I get anything yet? Nothing, eh? Gee. Three. Uh, three, three, two, one. Could it be? No. Okay, four. Okay, so it's not over here. I'm going to try over here. Five. Ah, okay. We're going to be able to do it? Yeah, we did it. Okay, something in there. Nothing. How is this possible? Cursed. Cursed. Oh, boy. Hey, everyone, check out this great career. It's called Exploration, and you can open completely empty boxes. Man, there's probably 20 million in that box that blew up, eh? But anyway, yeah, the cargo scanner would let me know that information. And uh, DadX, a great other YouTube channel that you should check out. Oh, I forgot to turn off my thing, and I paid the price.
Let's lock it up because that's a good idea. Locking skills is the other thing you could try and uh, train up uh, as an explorer, but uh, it's not that important. It's not going to make the difference, but you should get your locking skills. There's only a couple of them as an alpha, and they will not never hurt you, so uh, might as well lock, uh, get good at them. Oh, like it. Uh-huh, two, one. Uh, oh, no, wait, why did I bother? I shouldn't have clicked there. Shouldn't have clicked there. Couldn't have been that one. Yeah, why did I even try that? Why? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, okay, let's fight this guy. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll use my wrench to fight this one. Okay, double checking local. Okay, we're still good. We can still keep relaxing. One, uh, could it be there? Oh, that was dead. And now that one is super strong. I hope it's not over there. No, not that. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, 140. If it's that, I'm so dunked. It can't be these, eh? No, five. Oh my god, why did I even touch it? Could it be here? No, no. I think it's up here. I'm going to have to fight my way through. No, and I failed. Okay, yeah. At a certain point, I should have just given up on that and failed. Check in local. Uh, you know, it's so easy to die. Like, I, when I lose this ship, it's going to be because I was in the middle of one of these hacks and I didn't even look at local. But at least check local in between. If you are uh, playing fast and loose um, and uh, hacking... Ah, there we go. That's nice. We don't even have to use our thing because it's so weak. Here's the big jackpot, 724,000. All right, that's fine. We love it. We, we're, we're gamblers at heart. That's why we pay EVE Online. Um, turning that off and coming back and we've got it locked. And so we are going, what's happening? Oh no, we want this one. Yeah. Control click on it in space because I get confused here about which one is which. Okay, so we are going to come here. We are gonna start clicking. We're going to try to get to the other side, which is never clear in situations like this, what it means. But, okay, we want to get as far as possible away from where we started. Is it this? Aha, beautiful. Why, I didn't even need to use the wrench, but why not? Okay, loot. Let's go. 51,000. Okay. We're having fun. What's important is we're having fun. And by having fun, I mean... Uh, playing a, a, a very slow, tedious, involved game with a million details and a ton of danger. But it's fun because everyone else is equally uh, bored and challenged. And it's fun to play in a living world, isn't it? That's, that's, I don't know, you know, like, I don't, it's not like my rule. Oh, I only want to play games in a living world because it makes me feel like it's real. But then I actually just get so bored with any game that doesn't have a living world. Uh, and so I, <clears throat> I come back to EVE Online, uh, even though... Oh, six million! There we go. That's why we, that's why we play uh, Exploration. Because uh, six million is fun, even though... you know I guess I spent a long time because I was talking to you. We were having a little chat. Uh, if I was just focused on playing, uh, I would be a lot more reliable, and I, I would have found this site earlier. Great. Let's get going. Uh, and we will uh, end the video once I finish this uh, site. Let's see if we can go around. Nope. Let's see if we can go this way. This way is nice, too. Oh, what's here? Ooh, I like it. All right, here. This is where we want to be anyway. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to be fine. All right. We keep going in this direction just because I feel like it. All right. And this is where I found out the... Oh, gee whiz. Gee whiz. Two, one, okay, so I think we have to fight this. Three, one, two, three, can't be up there. I'm going to go, I think I can kill this, and so we're, I don't know if I can survive that. Can I kill that? Okay, uh, be something good, be something good, no! Can I kill this 25, and it does 10, and I have 23, so I can do one, I can do two, and that has 20 left, and I do 25. Okay, so as long as you kill it, 
Yeah, I'm still getting, I'm still reminding myself of all the rules. Ugh, 126,000, that wasn't great. So we are gonna cycle our micro warp. We are going to lock it up and we are going to warp it. And we're gonna start our relic analyzer. Ugh, stretch my hand, cause this mini game, you know, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I wish all the mini games could be played with only the keyboard because uh, ergonomically all this clicking is kind of hostile. Let's see. Please, no, it's nowhere down here. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to clip my wrench and I'm going to go kill this guy. Three, two, no. I like this angle. All right. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna end the video here because uh, this is boring and I'm getting sloppy because I'm trying to keep it entertaining for you. Uh, well, here, let's finish this one hack. Here it is, he's up here. Great, okay, so we're gonna loot it. We're gonna see what we get, 100,000, all right. The end, hello, here's my little ship and we will watch it as I finish up uh, hope this was helpful thank you for watching check out the other video where i talk in detail about my fit uh i hope you are having fun if you're an alpha if you're an omega hey be nice to the alphas okay we are the meat for the meat grinder if you don't like me playing for free come kill me <laughs> that's your game this is my game uh look forward leave me comments on all the things i got wrong i'd love to learn i'd love to chat uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. If you're just setting up a new account, use my uh, referral code in the in the description. Uh, stay out in space. I love you. Bye bye.